Well hey there folks and welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here, it's time for another beer review. Um, if you just found us on the channel, like, share and subscribe. This is the Hop House, hoppy beer, good house music. Um, I've had a few comments actually on a couple of videos saying mm, house music, it's not for everybody, that's fair enough. But we're trying to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm doing a beer review right now. I'm going to do more on the house music side probably a bit later in the week. Um, I've got a few days off work now, so we'll, we'll run that. We're doing a live stream Saturday, 20th of February. So if you're watching this video after the time, uh, you may you probably won't be able to tune in. But Saturday, 20th of February, but I put a separate video up about that. Go check it out, live stream this Saturday. Okay, beer review time. Um, we're going to do another Virgin beer review. I've not had this beer before. Uh, I've had I've heard of the brewery, but I've not heard, well, I have heard of the beer. I've just not tried it. Um, and it's another Citra beer. So another Citra Hot American uh, Session Strength IPA, I think we'll call this one. Uh, so we looked at the Oakham Citra, it was a game changer. It was the first beer that had um, Citra Hops in the UK. It's really hoppy, bitter, in your face, citrus, dries your mouth out. It's like, and it just stays there in the back end. That's what we know about the Citra Hop. We then had Ghost Ship, Adnum's Ghost Ship, which personally I prefer. It's a bit darker in the malts. Um, it's not as hoppy. Well, it is hoppy. It's hoppy. It's lovely, but it's not as wah as the Oakham Citra. So I prefer it. But it's each to their own, in it? Um, Oakham Citra, Open Boundaries. Uh, I They do a stronger version called the Green Devil IPA. I've never even tried that. I'd love to try that. Anyway, I'm going on about different beers, and what is the beer we're going to review today? It is this. It is Saltair Breweries Citra. Saltair are up in, um, I think it's classed as West Yorkshire. It's near Shipley and Bingley, not far, sort of northwest of Bradford. Uh, Saltair, you've got Saltair Brewery, you also have the Austin Brewery side project which is salt beer factory which are doing fantastic things on the craft beer side of things on your hazy new england ipas and all that kind of stuff we've got some salt beers um they're down there i'll be reviewing them well when i get to them when we do when we do more craft beer stuff but this is saltair citra saltair brewery their flagship beer is the saltair blonde it's very it's quite similar to the osset yorkshire blonde that we had it's that kind of really sessionable sort of sweet light um still a bit of hop in there but it's a bit sweeter but it's just something you can have you know something where you see old men have been out and walk the dogs and they come into the pub and oh, i have a pint of blonde you know it's just that lovely it's sort of a more a, like a best bit to style but a bit more modern um and it's it sells bucket loads, you know. Saltair Blonde is it's their flagship beer. I think it's a bit lighter than this one. It's it's, it's around 3.84%. It's not very heavy on the ABV. It's a lovely drink. Uh, I've also, I think, tried once their Saltair Cascade. That's actually a bit lighter. I think that's only 3.5%. It's actually quite low on the ABV. But it, it was their first delve into American hops with Cascade, which is the original sort of sea hop so this is their citra so there you go uh, it is coming in at 4.2 percent if the camera will pick that up it is a citrus and zesty pale of course it is it's a citra beer right uh, the bottle cap is the new saltair brewery logo the old logo I actually like better it was kind of a bit more this is a bit more generic and i suppose modern-y craft beery type thing the old Label had Saltair in it and some factories because um, it was an old sort of factory mill town, Saltair. Yeah, let's get it into the glass. Uh, I'm going with the old Moot Cider as I did on my last beer review. Uh, we did the Shropshire Lass from local brewery Woods Brewery. It was lovely. It was really nice and well balanced. It might be a nice warm up to this because I think this is going to be a bit more in your face. So let's get it into the glass and see what we get. Yeah, this is certainly a uh, nice, lovely light colour. Similar to the Oakham Citra, it's a lot lighter than the Ghost Ship. 
which had I think the darker malt in it. This is very light. There's a lot of carbonation going on there actually. A little bit hissy, it's not too bad. Um, let's hold it up. There you can see, yeah, the carbonation slowed right down now. It is, it's very similar in colour to the Oakham Citra. It's, uh, it actually looks a bit lighter. Maybe it's because I've turned this main light on. Because um, the, the natural daylight's getting a bit darker now. It's gone a bit dull outside. Uh, it, but to me, it looks a little bit lighter in colour than the Shropshire Last that we just reviewed prior to this. So, yeah, there's hardly any hissing or fizzing going on now. Uh, right, so we'll go ahead and stick that into there. We're going to give it a whiff, see what we can sniff, and see if we can get the citra, citrus aroma. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can. Huh. Now, the Shropshire last that we did said it had uh, grapefruit to it. I picked up more lemony, limey smell. This is pure bitter dry grapefruit. This, oh, spilling it all over the place now. Sorry, I just heard a noise outside, I think. Someone nearly went into the back of someone out there. We've got a little mini roundabout out where we live and people don't, re there's little drawn on roundabouts on the road. Nobody respects them as roundabouts. Oh yeah, that's really hoppy. That's bitter, it's citrus. It's dry. I, I already think this is gonna be similar to the Oakham Citra, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's gonna be really good. My, my mouth's going, cause it knows what's coming. It, the smells really do enhance the taste and if you go look back at my first couple of um, videos that I did not that I'm saying I've come on a long way because I've only been going a couple of months uh, but I did say that my nose was rubbish and I never really pick up smells um, I tend to pick up smells a lot better than I thought actually I'm, I'm actually quite proud of myself there I'm turning into a, one of these sort of beer connoisseurs I should have like a twist up moustache and stuff happen right bottoms up down the old hatchet because I, I, I just want to taste it oh you know what Ooh. oh wow that Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That, I might have just found my favorite. Citra, I love the ghost ship though, I really do, but that is spectacular. So, Oakham Citra has its place, it really does. Um, and it's a beer that I've learnt, sorry, bit of a itch on the side of my leg, I wasn't scratching nether region. Um, yeah, it was uh, Oakham Citra, it was a game changer. I learned to respect it. I've learned to, I can delve in and have a couple of pints of it, but it's so hoppy. It's so bitter and powerful that don't ever have it as a first beer. Even though in a pub it's like 4.2, similar to this. Just don't because it's that stringent, bitter, tart and in your face that you, you're not going to really taste a lot after this, after the Oakham Citra. Whereas this, it's got the bitterness of the Citra, but for some reason it's got a little bit of, I sort of want to say sweetness, and you don't really associate that with the Citra Hot. It's, it's got a really nice, it tastes quite similar to a Mosaic Hop actually. A Mosaic Hop is, it has got like a dry bitterness, but it's got like an underbelly of sort of citrusy sweetness, if that makes sense. Maybe a, like a sort of pine, no, not really the flavour of pineapple, but that the sweet bit that you get in a pineapple. Because it is pure grapefruit in the citrus flavour. Maybe, yeah, maybe more of a limey. Um, you know, if you put a lime in a lager and you get that sort of limey little bit of sweetness, probably from the malts. Um, maybe they've used some uh, sort of lager malts or something in this. I don't think the um, the bitterness is anywhere near what Oakham Citra is. And you know what? It makes it a better beer for it. 
So I did say on a on my ghost ship review that my favourite citra that I've had on cask is actually by Hopback Brewery down down south in Wiltshire. They do a Hopback Citra. Wonderful. It it showcases the hop really well, but without that whoa bitterness that just stays there and just wipes out your taste buds. This is very similar. It really is very similar. So, oh, I can smell it now. Yeah, I can smell a bit more sweetness. There's definitely this, like a citrusy sweet from the malt. I reckon this has got some sort of lager malt in it or something. Oh, you know what? It's such a shame. It's just hard to get hold of. For me, locally, anyway. Um, so I picked this up. Tell you what, I'll tell you that in a minute. Back to the flavours. Sorry, I'm, I'm going off on tangents. Yeah, uh, the flavours is definitely grapefruit. The grapefruit hits you down the side of the tongue, but the malt hits you down the middle with the sweetness, and then it sort of interacts at the back. So the, the aftertaste you get, it's got that, that makes my taste buds go, but it's not like, whoa, like the Oakham Citra is. It's not anywhere near as harsh as that so it doesn't dry your mouth out in fact my saliva is salvating I've got salvating saliva it's coming alive saliva come alive and um, really really enjoying this beer let's fold it around again look at it look at the lacing on it it looks fantastic it does look a bit fizzy actually but oh I can smell certainly smell more sweeter than I first first did it stuck it in the glass and it was Oakum Citra-esque, it was really But this is hoppy and bitter, but gentle on the aftertaste. And I think that's why I like it. Yeah. Oh, I could drink a lot of that. It's a shame I don't live up Yorkshire anymore, because I would buy a crate of that. Bet that on cask is absolutely out of this world. Might even beat hot back citra. I think ghost ship is slightly different because ghost ship does have different malts in it. There you go, there's a ghost ship. I've got another one there. Uh, I've got the uh, low alcohol one to have as well. Don't know what that'll be like. Got it for dry January, never drunk it because Mrs. said I wasn't even allowed any beer. Not even 0.5%. So there you go. Right, back to where I got this from then. Uh, so I, uh, last year, after the first lockdown, so it was like September time, um, me and my other half, we went up to the Yorkshire Dales. We went to settle in the Yorkshire Dales. We uh, stayed in like an apartment and we, had, we went around Malham. If you've ever been up to the Yorkshire Dales, go to Malham. It's a beautiful place. I went there as a kid, stayed in like a bunk barn farm thing. But it's got walks galore. It's walking territory. So you've got all the beautiful scenery, um, loads of hills to climb. You've got the Yorkshire Three Peaks around there as well. We did the highest one we did, Wernside? Wernside. We were going to go for another, but we ran out of time. We were only up there for a few days. But they had a supermarket up there, just getting back to where this has come, come in. Um, they had a supermarket there called Booths. Never heard of it before. I think it's more a regional supermarket in the, I think it's more Lancashire area, but Settle is, although it's classed as North Yorkshire, it's not far, it's closer to like Burnley. Uh, and Clitheroe and Accrington, places like that. So it's sort of on the border of Lancashire and to, f further north is a lake district. So they had a booths in Settle. They also had a co-op there. Uh, Settle's the kind of place where you're not going to see an Aldi. You're not going to see um, Costa Coffees. It is more regional, local, uh, that sort of town. Um, uh, but they had a fantastic beer selection in this booths. And they had loads of different breweries and stuff that I'd not heard of before. I got a couple of craft beers and cans one of them i've actually drunk before i even set up the channel um but the other one five way that uh, no seven brothers seven brothers uh based in manchester so that's one of the beers i bought but this was another one because i thought oh saltair brewery i can get the saltair blonde i can get it in my local morrison's because i think uh, a bit like the osset yorkshire blonde it sells nationwide in morrison's but this i've not seen before so i was like you know what I'm having a bit of a resurgence of love for Citra Hop. So we'll give it a whirl. Uh, and I wish I'd have bought more than one bottle now because I'm probably going to have to go online and buy some more. And the delivery costs will kill me. 
Right, let's have a read and see what it says on the back of the glass. It is quite small print, so hopefully my eyes don't deceive. Um, it just says Citra, the celebrated Citra Hop speaks for itself in this incredibly refreshing and fruity beer. And it's got an allergen thing, it's got it in several languages, so maybe this is exported to other countries in Europe. Yeah, I can't really read that. I don't think there's anything more in regards to the beer, it's more like warnings and ingredients and the address, Saltair Brewery, Dockfield Road, Shipley, West Yorkshire. SaltairBrewery.com Go get some. Go get some. Can't recommend that enough. That has wowed me. That has wowed me. That is the Citra beer. Sorry, Oakham, you were the original. That's outdone you. That's even outdone Ghost Ship, I think. And Ghost Ship's... I just can't get that. If I could get that regularly, my goodness, I would have a 24 crate of it down there or some 8-pack, but maybe not 24. Two thumbs up. I wish I could give it more, but I haven't got any more hands. So I might even put it at three thumbs up and borrow a hand from a missus, even though she's not here. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. In the words of Gary Barlow, absolutely fantastic. Ciao for now, people. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Ta-ra.